Hi everyone, this is T Dinesh Kumar. In this video, I am going to show you a demonstration on how to create online exam of MCQ type using exam.net. So go to Google Chrome browser, type exam.net. We need to log in using uh, teacher. I have a login already, so I log in with the teacher. And uh, I want to create a new exam, so go for a new exam. The subject name, I want to give it as science subject. So I can assign there it as science. See. Subject name as science. So there are four options being given no digital exam questions use pdf write exam questions auto marked exam since i am going to create a multiple choice questions based type i am going to mark it as auto mark so when i open an auto mark question i'll get these many options for each and every questions so i'll select multiple choice so now i i have questions so i type the questions which we can use the control c control v option from the document that we had saved or we can type so this typing is similar to the ms word that we are using so I have given a question which of the following is the first calculating device is my question so I enter the options I have four options so first I give calculator then I press enter it will get added or you can give simply give add answer so second I give second option abacus third option I give Turing machine next option I give Pascal. so I can shuffle the answer options or I can fix the answer options so now out of these four I need to choose which one is the correct so the correct option is abacus so here I can see abacus I have an option here so I can enable it so it means that this is the right answer so for this question this is the right option so i can choose it as a checkbox or a radio so always since it is a multiple choice question i choose it as a radio then in the grading i leave it as it is why because i don't want to give minus marks for my participant or my student so i leave it as it is and i click ok so if i give ok so the question will appear Next, if I want to add another question, I can use this option. If I want to use subdivisions, I can use add sub question. I want to use add another question, so I add a question. So I need to choose whether it is what type you want. Depending upon the teacher, they can choose it. I am choosing multiple choice again. So I type the question. This is as simple as using MS Word. If you are familiar, can use the same or you can text in some somewhere else keep it copy and paste it here also so the question is oncology is a study of so I have four options again first option I give birds second option I give cancer third option I give mammals fourth option I give soil so just put an enter so out of this four options the cancer is my answer so enable it so cancer so then i give it as a radio option so if i want i can increase the value also maximum i can increase for each and every question or i can minimize or i can zero if i want to give 
wrong answers for wrong answers if i want to detect marks you can opt this also it depends upon the individual teacher so for the time being i am giving for one correct answer one point so accordingly i am going to grade my student so click ok so like this we can add so many questions depending upon the subject teacher's choice then i am giving ok then i can randomize the order of questions question number one will appear at question number five and so on the randomization of order of the questions also can be done i enable it and i can collect the information of the students like his first name second name email class teachers teacher name phone number student id then if i want in some cases i can give accessibility tools i can give audio files i can give subject tools i can give drawing tool i can give calculator all this depends upon the subject teacher so a brief video on how to use the exam dot net i had given in my previous videos so kindly go through that so then i can have an uh, security settings the security settings require an explanation but unlock immediately if the student tries to cheat notify the teacher but don't lock the student require explanation wait for 30 seconds all these options can be chosen depending upon the subject teacher they who is going to conduct the exam so now i create the exam exam is created so where do i find this exam is that i need to find it in the exam list i can see in the exam list that the science subjects which i had created just now is being appearing i have some other uh, exams also which i had created earlier so this exam key which is the this key if i click it i can see have an overview of it it will show pre preview the exam as a student which is a test administrator or a test person so i can see for example if this is the question i am answering abacus so immediately when i move on to the next question the answered question will go blank i can click it here and then i can submit my exam as a student they can use it like this Submit the exam. So for the videos, 